Hey, what's happening gamers? Welcome back to K-Wing's Let's Plays and the start of our newest LP, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Early Access. We're also doing a giveaway for this game. All you have to do is be a subscriber of our channel, like and share the video, and in the comments section below, tell us your favorite Final Fantasy VII character. We will be announcing a winner live in April. So uh, today, hopefully we're going to be doing a mini-marathon of this game, showing you guys as much as possible. But before we get to that, we are going to do the story so far if you are unfamiliar with Final Fantasy VII. Um, so, let's dive into it. Also, the thumbnail will be changing. The thumbnail on there is a temp. I made that one. Amber will make a better one later. So, story so far. When there is so much to tell, where should I even start? With all that we saw, what we heard, what we felt, this planet of ours, destiny, our part in it. Best to start at the beginning, perhaps. Midgar, the city of Mako, ruled by the Shinra Electric Power Company who drained the planet of its very essence, the life stream, and processed it for industry as Mako. Our world was dying, and so few could hear her cries for mercy. Those who could rose up in her defense. The anti-Shinra rebels, Avalanche, among them, Cloud Strife, an ex-soldier hired by the Resistance to destroy Reactor 1. In Sector 8, amidst the aftermath of the attack, Cloud met a flower seller named Aerith. She offered him a yellow blossom. One said to symbolize reunion. And thus was destiny set in motion. With Reactor 1 gone, Avalanche set their sights on Mako Reactor 5. Unfortunately, they were playing right into Shinra's hands. The company was able to draw the wool over the people's eyes. And in the end, destroyed Sector 7, killing thousands and laying the blame at Avalanche's feet. Though dear friends were lost, Avalanche had no time to grieve. Aerith had struck a deal with Shinra, who took her into custody. With her capture, Shinra's obsession was within reach. The fabled Promised Land. For Aerith was the last of the Setra, the ancient stewards of the planet. And only she could guide them to paradise. To save her, the team infiltrated the Shinra building, the company's beating heart. It was here that I, another prisoner, joined their story and assisted them in freeing Aerith. Yet during our flight, we came face to face with a man thought dead. The vaunted war hero, Sephiroth. Before he could be stopped, Cloud's foe fled with the corpse of Genova, the cataclysm from the stars and the catalyst of our plight. Eventually, we too made good our escape. Pursuing troopers defeated, we raced toward Midgar's edge. Yet Sephiroth once again intervened. Suddenly, deafening screams rent the air. Whispers, the arbiters of fate, descended upon the city. Before their imposing wall, Aerith warned us. This was Destiny's crossroads. Every moment, every action, every step taken, 
had all been as the whispers willed it. To fight them was to break free. On the other side of fate, Sephiroth waited, the whispers undulating within him. Cloud brought his blade down upon his rival, sundering destiny. But the fight won, and the shackles of destiny broken. We stood before the unknown, a world of boundless freedom. It was there, beyond where fate could follow, that a new journey began. All right, so that was the recap so far. Now it's time for a new game. So, awesome. Uh, what is this? Bonus item eligible data. Uh, confirm whether or not any saved data on the PlayStation Five console qualifies to receive bonus items. Um, okay. Well, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth save data. Claim your Koopo charm and survival set by selecting DLC bonuses in the system selection screen. We'll do that off camera. Okay, Koopo. Okay, Koopo. Koopo, Koopo. Um, hopefully it, like, lets us start over again. Wireless speaker settings off. Normal. Active time battle, I believe. For those who want to have complete control over their actions in combat, yes. Please tell me this is correct. I guess this is how the game opens. So Nibelheim is not the beginning of the game. Good! I was basically showing you the recap anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we did all this stuff yesterday. <laughs> I'm waiting, Cloud. <laughs> Sephiroth! <laughs> That's right. I'm here on the Midgar Expressway. The scene is indescribable. Oh, it's that reporter guy again. Countless buildings have been leveled, and part of the row has oh. collapsed. The smoke rising from the rubble is reminiscent of a funeral pyre. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... I the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through Sectors 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement declaring the tornado to be, quote, weather warfare perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. How would they even, even believe it? The administration also suspects the involvement of Wutai and has begun investigations into the matter. <sighs> wow. So this is the aftermath. That giant tornado too wrecked even more of uh, the sector. Not just Sector 7, it also wiped out other parts of Midgar, too. Yeah, but that wasn't an avalanche that did that. That was Sephiroth that did all that, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how avalanche would have, you know... Yeah, created a created tornado. Created a tornado, yeah. I don't even think we have the technology. Well, no. We have the technology to make tornadoes. Oh, that's thin air. Thank you for the super chat, Max. Max says the best team in history until the missing four show up. Um, are back. Cloud Barrett, aka Nick Fury in UA3. Oh, he plays the same voice actor. Yeah. Tifa, Aerith, and Red Thirteen, aka Ryuju from PS Whoa. from Persona Five. Thank you, Max. You're breathtaking. Zach is here in real time. There he is. Eris theme mixed with Zach. Beautiful. They're going home. There it is. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. You can barely see that it says Rebirth, though. Well, I can fix that. 
white text. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the it, uh, the fall of the Sector Seven place. Boy, that tornado really did a number on the city. I thought another reactor blew up, which must have been caused by the tornado. Man, when it rains, it pours. As you can see, oh, over there. Amidst the wreckage of the expressway, search and rescue operations are already in progress. We still have one suspect so right. unaccounted for. Ex-soldier, armed with a buster sword. Highly dangerous. I repeat, the fugitive is an ex-soldier, armed with a buster sword. Huh? Oh, that's what... Back over here. Like. Get him on board! What? The rescue team has pulled people from the rubble. Quick, get the camera off him. What? Come on, this way. Contact the SAR team. Targets have been secured. We are expelling via Hilo now. Move it. We're taking off. What? What? They're all dead. My timeline theory is correct. Excuse me. Could you look after my friend? Just for a bit. Too much Mako. But he'll be fine. <laughs> Zack has a fun personality. Aerith! Oh my gosh. Oh wow! They're not dead? Or Red 13 is. Yeah, Red 13's in the one with Aerith, I thought. Yeah, he was. What is going on? And now we get to play as Zack again, just like in Crisis Core. Yup. I can read Max's full comment now. The best team in history until Missing Four show up. And then the part of I didn't get to read, Barrett is John, Eric, Bentley, and Red 13 is Max Middle... Middleman. Alright, thank you, Max. You're breathtaking. Thank you so much. So the game actually starts with Zack. Survive what serves the injured, says Miss Deanna. No, I guess we'll find out. I think Zach is brought into the future, says Peter. No. I hope he's here. He's going after Aerith. Hope they're not dead now, says Sammy. How is Zach still here? He's supposed to have died. Yeah, it's the timeline change. Uh, <laughs> that? They just said that um they escaped. Oh wow. Get away from her! He's got a buster oh, sword! Terrorist! That looks <laughs> of course he does. His playstyle is different than Cloud's. Interesting. Yeah, he punches people. Just straight up kill them all. Let's get him. Yeah, I think so. Bye now. Wow. It's great to hear Zach doing puns again. Sorry. At least you tried. At least you tried.
Thank you. Oh my gosh. Red is dead. Red is dead. Where's the ancient? Heads are gonna roll if we don't find her. Just shut the hell up and search. messed up. All of it. But I'm back now, Aerith. I'm back. dead oh my gosh she died yep when her materia falls from her head she's dead <sighs> what the heck is going on oh that's horrible all right then seeing as we've got the time want to tell the rest of us about you and your buddy sephiroth sure if tifa doesn't mind me yeah no problem it's cool it all started five years ago. I was 16 at the time. There was hardly any work for soldiers back then, and what little was, it was boring as hell. My heart wasn't in it. Then, out of nowhere, the job of a lifetime came up. A mission with Sephiroth. <laughs> I couldn't believe my luck. That was a heck of an opening. Chapter one, Fall of a Hero. Yep. It's really coming down, huh? Hey man, feeling any better? I'm good. Sure don't look it. Wish I could help, but never been motion sick. Sorry, man. Ready to do this? Yeah, you bet. Sorry. No can do. Kids. Say, I'd like to be briefed on the mission at some point. Because if it's another one of those Turks gigs, you can let me off right here. Really? Finally make first, and what do they do? Call a ceasefire with Wu Tai, stealing my shot at glory. I didn't join Soldier to be an errand boy. I joined up so I could be a hero, like you. Hm. Well, our mission is to survey a rundown reactor. Another one of those Turks gigs. Ah, fine. Job's a job, I guess. Where is it? Nibelheim. Nibelheim? That's where I grew up. Got some fiends at our 12! Let's go. I think it's... Man, Sephiroth is so cool. I would look up him too. So cool. Oh my god. I have a theory, guys and gals. You take one, <coughs> I'll take the other. I think there's two timelines. A timeline where Cloud and the others are dead, and a timeline where uh, Zack and Mako Cloud are alive. I think that tornado basically messed with uh, two different Midgars.
the timeline that uh, Cloud and Tifa came from, and the timeline that they ended up in, Wait where their truck. duplicates ended up being no killed. No way! I got this! Ugh. That's my guess. Hold still. Ow. Are you? Sephiroth is so cool. Was in a different league from the rest of us. Nibelheim. That's where they built the first reactor. Right? Yeah. It all started in the fall. Something was wrong with the reactor, and the whole village was up in arms. Talk of strange new monsters on the mountain only made things worse. People were scared, desperate. The villagers tried to take care of the monsters themselves, but it was no good. Ended up calling Shinra. So the company sent help. Best they had. Nibelheim. Home, sweet home, right? Tell me, how does it feel? I have no home, so I wouldn't know. Uh, you still got parents though, right? A mother named Genova. She died shortly after I was born. My father. Oh there, Genova? Like from the Shinra building? Yeah, don't worry. I'm getting the best. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Why am I talking about this? Come on, let's go. If only they didn't come to this village. His father what? Hope I didn't keep you waiting. I'm Xander, the mayor here. I wanted to greet you myself, to uh, welcome you to our humble little town. Please, if you'll follow me. Consider yourself off duty till sundown. Now last time we missed the piano mini game. I don't know how to find it though, I think it's in Tifa's house. Based on Cloud and... Sephiroth's crazy hair. I'm guessing nobody needs buzz cuts in this um, army. Nah, they just use their swords. Regulation. How's it going over there? You done yet? I can't yep, so, um, if you guys are just joining, the game essentially opens the same way as um, the demo. The only difference is you get to play as Zack at the very beginning in Midgar. And uh, there was a major twist that happened. Um, so That'll be important later on. This feels like Zack is a better fighter than Cloud. Of course he is. Oh, okay. yeah, Zack was using hand-to-hand -hand combat plus his sword. That was pretty cool. I was wondering how they were gonna, you know, uh, differentiate the characters between Zack and Cloud as playable in this. And well, they showed you how. Zack is a more um, hands-on guy. Cloud heavily uses his Buster Sword, but um, Zack was integrating kicks and punches. It's pretty cool, actually. So there's a treasure chest over there, but I can't get it until later on. And you still got energy after the trip. Nothing to report here. To watch that part back, I missed when I was trying. Please just let it be a part. Oh, hello there, Cloud. When did you get back in town? The girls are hitting on Cloud. Everyone, please calm down. Relax, we know. Don't make any trouble for Sephiroth. I'm eager to talk to him too, but now's not the time. Here's Tom Hall. 
Let's see if we can Don't find Don't make any fast. trouble for Sephiroth. Everyone, please mm -hmm. calm down. Thank goodness Shinra's here. We're safe. Now I can go back to him. Yeah, I know. Put my laundry outside without worrying <clears> about <throat> a monster stealing. People are like, thank goodness Shinra's here. <laughs> yeah. So Famous how last words. Being back up there. I don't know. Nostalgic, I guess. After two years away and all that. Uh huh. There's Tifa's house. I think. Probably. Right across from the uh, water tower. Yep, there's a door open there now, so let's go in. Unless that's Cloud's house. I don't think so. I guess we'll find out. Those soldiers certainly are handsome. And such mocking citizens. Huh? You went to my place? Yes. I figured you might be there. Tifa's house! The Lockhart residence. We did not go in here in the demo, but uh, you can go inside Tiva's house, and there's a piano mini game that we missed out on. Cool. And people made tons of viral videos playing the piano. Okay. Remember my cat? Her name was Fluffy, I think. Yeah. She was always disappearing, and that day was no different. Exploring the house. It's cool in the Final Fantasy world that they make it look like a sci fi, but the houses look like normal people houses. Oh, normal people houses in the 90s and 80s. Oh, this is how I see a normal house. This is what a lot of houses that I remember when I was a kid looking like. Me too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tifa's room. You went into my room? I did. <laughs> Cloud. This is... You went through my stuff? Yes! I know I shouldn't have. Okay, so in the original game, uh, if you go through Tifa's stuff, you can take a pair of her Cloud. panties. You asshole! And, and oh my Tifa gets really mad at Cloud. Wow. They don't do it in this one, obviously. You can't. It was when games had a sense of humor, I guess. Yeah. There is no sense of humor anymore. No. So, in this one, he goes through her stuff, and they don't tell you what he's looking through. But her uh, her stuff is like in, in the drawers and in this uh, thingy. So, this is a piano minigame. Um, they've actually made a real piano. Like, it's a very complex mini game. Hmm. Inspect piano you encounter to start tickling the ivories, perform pieces using the sheet music you have acquired. Did you actually play it? Oh, no. This is gonna be bad. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm playing piano. I guess we'll... You, I guess we'll try it out. Play... Yeah, no. Yes. Whoops. Here we go. Uh how how do I start? Oops. Uh mm. Isn't there a way for me to follow along on a song? Oh! Then they can change. Sorry. Now you're in your major seventh chords. I can try to play something if you want. 
If not, that's okay. I mean, you, you are a piano player. I thought there was a way to play along to a song. I could probably try to play a simple song. I could probably play, like, something simple, but... Okay. Here, let's see. How do you get back to the regular chords? Uh, you mess around with the... You can change the, the chord type over there. Minor is by hitting L. Okay. Okay, I think I can do Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I have it in sharps, is that okay? Yeah, you don't need a sharp key, it's fine. Because you can change the chord types and you can change the octave. This is harder than it. Right, because you constantly got to be changing the octaves and the other stuff. You don't have to change the octave. Really? Okay, I think I can do it. Well, it, that, that yeah, I could almost do it, but it's yeah, it's gonna take a while. You don't, you can play almost every song in in like four different keys. Right, but this sets it back to the. This brings it back to chords. This is monotones, <sighs> semitones, all kinds of stuff. I thought I saw people playing along to music though. I don't know how to do that. Um. Oh, wow, that was the performance? Oh, it got recorded? Whoops. Sorry, I thought I could play something more interesting that... Well, maybe I'll have to find wow. out. I'll, I'll, I'll write something. Where'd you learn down. to do that? Hey, you gotta play for us sometime. Well, shit. You're a merc of many talents. I swear there was, like... I saw people playing, like, Tifa's theme and stuff like that. And they were falling along like it was a mini game, but I have no idea how to do that. Like, maybe you have to find sheet music and it's later in the game? I don't know. Yeah, I really wanted to play that one thing that was like... Da, 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 da. But I forgot what that is. I think that's no, they give you... Game. It's supposed to be a mini game. I, I literally have seen people doing it. Like, there's like... You can play Tifa's theme. You can play the Final Fantasy fanfare. There's like music you can find and then you fall around like a Guitar Hero thing with the piano. But I have no idea how to execute it. That was literally my first time ever using the piano. I mean, I wish they had like a little piano that you could attach to the game and you could easily play on that because it's kind of hard the way they have it set up. Maybe it's later in the game, I don't know. Well, at least we showed well, the piano. We skipped it last time. I kind of... I'm sorry. I tried to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, but... It it was kind of hard, the controls were hard. Really? Well, they're supposed to be a thing for you to fall around. You can freestyle as well as you can, like, um, do other stuff, but they don't tell you how to do it. Maybe in the demo they already had the sheet music available. I don't know. Ah, Shinra's here, I see. Thank you for coming. You're Shinra? Shinra? Oh, whoops! I didn't recognize you, Cloud. How you've grown. I must say, you look dashing in that uniform. You're so cool. You're so cool. You a soldier? You a soldier? Don't get too attached. Alright. Excuse me. I 
wish they would have had the um the piano music already there though. Like, I guess hmm. your first time the people just they the let you freestyle it. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sure I could have done better for you. It matters. Sure it does. I know I wanna hear what happened. Me too. Yeah, you probably could have done better Go than on. me on that, I'm sorry. You know a lot about music too, actually. My dad died when I was a kid. So after I left for Midgar, she was on her own. It was the first time we'd seen each other in two years. First time. And last. Hmm? I'll be right there! <gasps> Cloud, is that you? Hey. Why is mom so pretty? Welcome home! Come in. Let me get a good look at you. My, my! So that's what they've got you wearing, huh? You soldiers sure do clean up nice. I've never been so proud. The man you've become. Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. They are feeding you properly, aren't they? Oh, Cloud. But you know, Cloud. Wouldn't you agree, Cloud? You're my son. Of course, I'll always be... Okay, that's enough. Yeah, that's not how that went down. Wait a second. You two were neighbors? We were, but... It's not like we hung out that much. We had our reasons. <laughs> our hey, bro, let me get a reasons, good look at that sword. Uh, that most of them had to do with you. Our reasons, most of them had to do with Cloud. He's not just a hero, but a gorgeous one okay. at that. With his flowing silver Time hair and... Time to go to the end. We need to leave these men in peace so they can rest up They let us go more. Oh, thanks for the encouragement, guys. I'm glad you guys like to drink the a little star. I'll try to work on some more piano stuff. Maybe I can try more of that. Hey, look, is my piano, my Final Fantasy piano book somewhere? Hey, you there's one upstairs, do I have one? Just for a bit. Could you keep up? The Final Fantasy piano book should be downstairs, or they might be in the bookcase over there. I did get you piano books, so. You got me a Final Fantasy one. I got you Zelda piano books, Mario, oh, Final I didn't Fantasy. Realize the survey team was here. I Thanks thought it came really can't handle this Um, yourself. is this the full game? It is, Larry. Yep. This is early access. We get to see you guys in the chat. Hi, Avengar. Hi, Sense of Gaming. Hi, everybody. Don't make any trouble for Sephiroth. Hmm. Hmm. A soldier. And you are? Richard Sangan. A humble traveler of the world. And teacher of martial arts to the youth. Hmm. Toned, but lacking mass. You need to bulk up. Who asked you? You could learn a lot from me. Pass. Don't be shy. I have many pupils your age. At last count, one hundred and twenty-eight. In fact. One of them's from this very village. Perhaps you know her. Tifa. Sure. A real talent, that one. 
She'll go far. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right? <laughs> Got anything to say for yourself? I didn't know. Wow, Cloud. I'd be interested to see how one of Shinra's finest fights. Should you need my help, just say the word. Oh, now you know how Tifa survives Nibbleham. City folk are so sophisticated. Yeah. Her Her master didn't really notice at the time, alive. but looking back, all the signs were there. From the moment we arrived, Sephiroth just wasn't himself. What you looking at? This landscape. Huh? I could swear I've seen it before. You okay? Big day tomorrow. We'll be leaving bright and early. You should get some rest. All right. Will do. Night. Mm, poor Sephiroth, they seem so sad. I tried, but I couldn't get to sleep that night. Was too excited, too nervous. Was pretty much the same for me. Why? <laughs> yeah, I was surprised too. the last time she went up there that was years ago brian she's old enough to make her own decisions now <laughs> we leave once our guide arrives yes sir uh, brian sephiroth sir <sighs> i must insist that i take you up the mountain my daughter isn't dad Tifa, you can still back out. You don't have to do this. I'm going, and that's that. There'll be two soldiers with me. I'll be fine. Pumpkin. Good morning, sir. I'll be your guide for the day. Tifa? You're our guide? I sure am. You can ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. You could get hurt. Not if you remember to do your job, she won't. Come on. Tifa's theme with a little bit of Western flair to it. Hmm. For a posterity, sir? Not today. Can you talk to him? Please, Sephiroth. It'd mean a lot to us. It's just one photo. Come on. Where's the harm in that? There? Thanks. Say cheese! Sounds like you were having a good time. One more! Yeah, I guess we were. Later. For a while. Oh, I see. They did censor Tifa. The reactor was halfway up. And they put a either. black shirt on her cowboy costume. I was looking forward to breathing that crisp, clean mountain air again. Yeah. I saw a video on that, that they put a black shirt under her shirt. Yep. Because they felt... <laughs> I mean, there was, it wasn't really anything there. She's, uh... She's very young. Yeah. Okay, so last time we explored during the demo, this time we're just going to run straight through it so we can get to the main game. So, that's what we... Last time I went all over the place exploring. This time we're just going to follow Tifa. So it'll get through much faster. If that's uh, all right with you guys, I guess. That way we can get to more of the game. If you want to see me explore uh, Nibbleheim, you probably Tifa's already the know guide, this, check out our demo preview. The first of its kind. It really put not Nibble on the map. I've seen a few reactors in my time, but none with such a breathtaking view. Who could tire of it? Everyone, eventually. <laughs> Man, I wish I could go on trips all over the world like you guys. 
Trips. I think you mean business trips, which are no fun at all. Though you do learn stuff on them. That's so cool. Hmm. <laughs> That's cute. Another grand version of Tifa's theme. Tifa's getting the royal treatment in this game. Mm hmm. Oops, I forgot how to bolt over stuff. Uh, is it triangle? Square? So Frost, like, this is embarrassing. Wait, wait, wait. Huh? Yeah, Cloud is really small, Sammy, definitely. Especially compared to Sephiroth. My gosh. He must be younger here, too. Yeah, he is younger. This is five years ago. Everything okay? Not going too fast for you, am I? Of course not. We're just trying to pace ourselves, is all. But I thought you guys were in a hurry. Even so, you'll burn yourself out running like that. I'm not even close to burned out. Not with all the training I've had. <laughs> Guess you really are the best there is. A little flirty flirt there. Sounds like he was being mean to her. Like, nah, cause you're the best there is. Oh no. That is Cloud's version of flirting. Wow. Yep. Tifa's being kind of spunky. And fun. Childhood friend uh, syndrome. Both of them. Tifa also met Zack and people and notice how like during Cloud's story she never asks them who are the people that went with you like she just lets Cloud tell the story the way he remembers it because she remembers everything yeah yep right, so. sorry got lost or not lost I want to where did Tifa go Oh, here's all the credits going on. Yep, this is the opening of the game. It feels so nice to see Sephiroth, like, just being a normal person. Mm -hmm. Seen those near the village, and they're not nice. What do you think? Oh, sorry. I think I got this. Then they're all yours. Copy that. <laughs> So in reality, Zack was really good with these guys. Now. I really like how Let's finish this. Like, Sephiroth isn't really a bad guy until like, some things happen and it snaps. So I feel like in a lot of Western movies, the bad person is villainized them from the beginning. But here they really show he's a good person, actually. Mm -hmm. That was awesome! You think? If this is how it's going to be... It doesn't seem much point in me fighting. Mm. I guess not. You leave it all to me, huh? <laughs> don't mind if I do. I don't think Sephiroth cares. Like, I get to take a break. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth demo save data confirmed. Nope. We're gonna keep going. gonna keep going because there are people that didn't see the demo so. but I was hoping it would say would you like to load your your stats yeah. like, I know uh, right all of your upgrades all your yeah all your stats, all your levels you know, level up everybody would you like to bring that yeah. over that, I think yeah yeah let's finish this I don't even know what level cloud is right now. You're done. Well, that's that. Well, getting a refresher course of playing Final Fantasy VII Remake like a couple weeks before this came out definitely helped. Yeah. Deep of the guy. Is that Mako? Whoa! And Tifa's dad doesn't make it out. Though. No one does. 
Only Cloud, Zack, Tifa, her master, and Zephyr. Way to go, Tifa! <laughs> Come on, soldier. You can do better than that, can't you? They had a problem with people who bent over. Just you watch. This is really bothering me. And notice Eris' dress is all the way down, like Eric. much deeper than Eris is allowed to show a lot. Eris can show all she wants because she's not as curvy. And then. The funny thing is, curvy girls can't help it. And like. How is it her fault that she has more curves? It's this. wrong. Tifa, Tifa in real life wouldn't wear a different clothing because why would she? She probably have to do it because people are mean to girls that are curvy in real life. And are super rude to them and are always being like, you're dressing like a, you know, bad person. And in reality, they're just wearing the same clothes everyone else is. Not her fault. Oh, it just really bothers me. This is making me feel sick. All yours. You know what to do, Cloud. Oops. Oh, I don't need to heal yet. All right, so that thing's flying. So we're gonna hit it with fire. Calling fire. Ah. And again, if you guys want to see me uh, mess around with the combat and stuff, you can always hit up the demo. I am familiar with how to play this game, so I'm just the way we can get this good stuff. Right? Let's finish this. Yep. Yep. See ya. You wouldn't want to be a... Good job, unnamed soldier. Well done, well done trooper. trooper. Thank you. And mm -hmm. that trooper I got the rest. Mm -hmm. is really proud, just so everyone knows. Mm -hmm. That was his real, that's who he really was. He wasn't, he wasn't, that. He wasn't the star of the show. He was misremembering. He was that trooper. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he is remembering. He's remembering Zack's You're done. I hope they show, like, another version of Nibelheim in this game. Like, the actual version of it. Didn't they do that in Crisis Core or no? Or um, see the real version? Do I want to use my limit already? Why not? Limit! Cross Slash! Yeah. We still have a long way to go. Shall we pick up the pace? Not unless we absolutely have to. Our guide might not be so lucky. Happy next birthday. Time. Then how about I go on ahead and clear the way for you guys? I'll be careful. <laughs> You'd better. Cool. See you at the reactor. Cloud clears path. All right, here we go. Time code in. Happy birthday, Axel Lover. Thank you so much for um highlighted message. Remember for 26 months. Wow, two two years and two months. Amazing, Axel Lover. Thank you. Hope you're having a wonderful birthday. And thank you again before Max for the super chat earlier. Oh, they have Cloud be a level 40 in this? Okay. Uh, first open your materia equipment. So this shows you how to use Materia. I'm just going to go through this stuff real quick for people that don't know how. By pressing triangle, you can set Materia. Triangle. A materia can be acquired from open slots in your weapon or above. Try equipping Assess. We did that. Finish tutorial. We also have other Materia we can mess with. Yeah, thanks for choosing to watch our live stream on your birthday. Hope you have a lot of fun watching this, Axel Lover. And hope you're having a wonderful birthday. And hope you guys are all having fun watching this. And um, I know I am. I missed one part that was really cool when I had to check the stove. I'll have to watch it back. No way for me to mess with materia. Ah, there we go. Okay, cool. So we don't really have a lot of materia right now. We have fire, ice. Shows you we have healing. 
We have fire. We have ice. Blank. Blank. Assess. We don't have anything else yet. You can get stuff and you can mess around with it, under, unlike the demo, but we don't have anything currently, so. Alright, let's go. And we need to keep an eye on uh, Cloud's health, obviously. Can't wait to play it myself, says Axel Lover. Yep, the game comes out tomorrow for the rest of you. Yeah, some people are saying it might come out at midnight. Well, there you go. So it might be out at midnight. Somebody else was midnight. waiting for that. Hi, Sons of Gaming. How's it going? Hi, um, uh, hi, Miss Deanna. Hi, Sammy Bear King. Hi, Max. Hi, Julia. Hi, Vanguard. Said hi, Amber. Hi, Vanguard. Hi, uh, oh, wait. Bring it on. See Red Hood and Bowman. Hope you're doing well. Hi, Julia. Hi, Red Hood. Hi, um, Axel over Master Gundam and Princess Emmy. It's on now. Hi, Mage Wolf and uh, HM Goldbeck. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to work soon, but not yet. Okay, HM Goldbeck. Great to see you, and um, hope you're this. having a great day. Thank you. Hi, Blue's Cat. Hello. Um, Batman 01. Hi, Larry. I gotta say, that one felt pretty good. Nice job, Cloud. Yeah. So you can interact uh, with certain objects now and climb them, like uh, by pressing, I think it's one of the top buttons. You could not do in the uh, Final Fantasy remake, but you can do in this one. Mm, well, they'll never remake another Final Fantasy game, but... Well, they probably never will, because this was the... Never, never say is, never. This is the only one that was... Well, maybe the they, one with Squall. They, re they remade this game after almost, like, uh... At, after 25 years, they remade the first... I want them to remake Final Fantasy VIII. I Does love that, Final Fantasy VIII. That's the one with Squall? Squall and Renoa, yeah. Well, you never know. Maybe they'll remake Final no, Fantasy VIII. No, it's not popular enough. In fact... Leon, or rather Squall, has only shown up in a couple other media for Final Fantasy. Like, uh, he's a bigger presence in Kingdom Hearts and Cloud. Well, is this the only Final Fantasy game popular enough to make a remake, then? Uh, Do you think there would be any other game that would be popular enough? Because I don't think there is. I, well, Final Fantasy IX had a huge too. But I don't, I don't know. Gotta be careful. What do you guys think in the chat? Do you guys think can think of any other Final Fantasy game they might remake? Like a really super HD version of it? The only other one that I would say that has global renown, like Final Fantasy VII, would be Final Fantasy X. Um, Red Hood says, I mean, there are Final Fantasy IX or X remake rumors. Yeah. Final Not Fantasy VI comes to mind, says Austin Lawrence. Yeah, that would Interesting, be... Austin. That would still stay true to the world. Final Fantasy 9 or 13 says Axel Love. Calling fire. You're right. done. I'm playing dangerous here. Like, I almost died. I, I remember watching him play Final Fantasy 13. Lightning Returns. Ugh. That one already had pretty high def graphics, but they could re. They could. Like they could HDify it and make it look even better. I did not like that game. I mean, she did look cute with her pink hair. That's one interesting thing. Did not care for that game. No, well, I would like to see, just because of the music, even though I've never seen the game, I would like them to make Final Fantasy IV. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Because that's the one Luke is always telling me to try out. And I I need to find a place, a time that I can play that. Or it would be kind of cool if they made Final Fantasy 1 remake in oh, HD. The OG Final have Fantasy. Have Red Mage. Oh. They would completely have to. They would have to change how Final Fantasy 1. People wouldn't be able to play it today. It's like a. It was more like a. Uh, it was The first one wasn't as much of a. It wasn't. I was listening to somebody talk about that and they were saying the first game was almost like a dungeon crawler. Almost. Almost. So, like, it was kind of a different play style. Then. People people today couldn't play it. Like, they wouldn't get it. Um. And then the second one was, like, did better in Japan than here. Because it, they waited to release it here. Mm -hmm. But I loved Final Fantasy IV as a kid. Hey! Which I thought Not was Final way. Fantasy II. Because the numbers were... <laughs> oh. Bridges out. 
so I just went up there so Tifa could kind of show up and say, Cloud, you need to go this way. It's a dead end. Rockslide took out the bridge a while ago. Come on back, okay? She shows you the path. Okay. Oh. What about four, says Peter? Yep, four would be cool. Four I, I has mean, Cecil the Dark Knight. I know Luke likes that one a lot. I love four. I can't think of one that's more popular than seven, says OH. I would like to see a 13 collection, Final Fantasy 13 collection. Yeah, because there was 13. Oh, yeah, they had Lightning Return. Lightning 13 Return. part one. Technically, yeah. it was part one. I liked Final Fantasy 15. It was an interesting story. This but time. the thing that Gotta make a detour through a Shinra facility. most people didn't like about 15 was you had to get the guy. DLC to get the Good whole story. Kind of like Suicide Squad. Otherwise, you'd have let us straight off the Yeah, cliff. you were playing that for an ultimate stream. Lead oh, on. it was a lot of fun. And you played that yes. for a while. Mm -hmm. Until the VIP couldn't afford to do it anymore. That was an interesting stream. Mm -hmm. The character was really in, was really fun. Like. He was just going around with his friends in a car and like fighting people and stuff. It was really interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> there are rumors of a Final Fantasy XIII yes. trilogy master, says Joe Turo. Mm. And Final Fantasy VIII is hated because of some things. Well, it was bad in many ways. I loved Final Fantasy VIII. It was so fun. Uh, they needed to change to the Crystarian system in 1. It was a headache in 13, says Axel Lover. Mm -hmm. I like 15, says Axel Lover. And, ev and even then, the rest of the Final Fantasy DLCs were cancelled, says Red Hood. I wow. say 7 is awesome in my opinion, says Bowman. 7 has more global renown. Like, everyone worldwide played Final Fantasy 7. It was on multiple systems. PC, or... PlayStation. And it didn't come to N64 later? No! I thought it was on N64. No, no. In fact, uh, Nintendo had a hissy fit with um, Square. It... The reason I... why Square and Nintendo had a breakup for like 10 years is over Final Fantasy VII. Then what? Then how come she was called an heiress in one system and Aerith in another? She was called Aerith... Eris on PlayStation and then, or wait, no, Eris and PlayStation. Then she was called Eris on PC. Oh. It's a translation error. So did you play it on PC also then? Yes, I didn't have a PlayStation. I first played through Final Fantasy VII on PC. Oh, so it should have, it could have come to on uh, Nintendo 64. No, <laughs> no. So Nintendo, um, the Nintendo president at the time basically like insulted Square when they were experimenting with the new PlayStation system. Because he was mad because Square said that Final Fantasy VII couldn't play on um, the N64 because the FMV videos would work. Oh, wow. Even though the 3D would work fine, and the game was so big. But Nintendo and Square butted heads in, like, 1995, I think it was. Whereas before, Nintendo was the system of choice for Square RPGs. So... Oh, so then that was... So they felt betrayed by Square. It wasn't until, I Whoa. believe, the Wii? I think the Wii is when Square came back to Nintendo. Like, they didn't really have a big presence with uh, Game Boy Advance either. They were gone. Like, it took years for Iwata to mend the relationship. And then Square started to make exclusive games again. Yeah, because like Final, Final Fantasy The Crystal Bearers. Because Final Fantasy started on the NES. Uh-huh. So Correct. they were always on Nintendo systems, and then they Break weren't so bad. Yeah, oh, but wow. the dude... See, here's the thing. Um, I, I guess the Nintendo president was kind of like an SJW of his day. He tried to cancel Square and shame them for not putting the game on his system and Why? saying that they were going to fail. And then That's it ended up becoming one of the most popular Final Fantasy releases of all time. Well, yeah, that was kind of karma for him because he was the right. So then, later on, Iwata... Unlike his predecessor, he mended ways with Square, and they worked on exclusive like GameCube games together. And then Square had a huge presence on both the DS, the Wii, and the 3DS. And Square has like been pretty good with Nintendo after all these years. And but they, you want to fix that? They made the Square. Um, they made that the one that I'm doing. I haven't finished it. Harvest Ellet was exclusive to it. Wasn't that Square? I think 
think it was made by Square. Let me just check. So I'm pretty sure that game was made by Square. Right. So no, I can use the But yeah, Nintendo threw it. A lot of people forget about that. Limit! Cross slash! Oh. That's that. But hasn't Square done a ton of RPGs on Nintendo since then? Like on the Switch and stuff? Yeah. N I, Square and Nintendo's relationship is fine now. Like, I'd say the relationship has been fine for like 20 plus years. Yeah, look. Look at the one I was doing. It was made by Square Enix. Yep. That's why it was such a good game. Mm. Well, I can. Um, on your phone, can you look up the first Square game on GameCube? And then I can tell you, like. What you like? It'll tell you what year. I want to say like 2003. So Nintendo and Square were like, you know, separated from each other from like 1996 until I want to say 2003. May might have even been 2000. There was a game, uh, Final Fantasy, either Crystal Bearers or Crystal Chronicles, was what made them come back to Nintendo, and it was a GameCube game. And then they had a huge presence on the Wii. There was a great game called Final Fantasy The Crystal Bearers, which uh, was an action game that starred like one one guy in a yellow coat, and he rode chocobos, and they had steam air airships, like steampunk stuff. Um, it looks like the like different ones were on the PS PS2, and then GameCube Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles was on GameCube. It looks like GameCube and Game Boy Advance, what year? Was it 03 or 2004? Um... Because it came to GameCube first. The reactor may have been around for a while, but there are still pockets of Mako gas all over the I don't know why it's saying... Try not to breathe it in if you Okay, can. Game Boy Advance... don't want to get Mako poisoning. It's saying 2020 it came to... No. I don't understand. Maybe this is wrong. No. Why does it say 2020 Crystal Chronicles and then it goes to 2003? Because it re-released on Nintendo Switch. Oh. Where did it say 2003? Well, I don't, I don't understand this. GameCube. Oh, 2003, August yeah. 8th. Yeah. See, and then it came. I understand. Then it came to PlayStation 2 later. So. Yeah. So it came to PlayStation. Oh wow, this is weird. It's hard for me to understand this. Chart. Right there. It says right there. So. GameCube 2003, that's when, so it took from 1996 until 2003 for Nintendo to mend the relationship with Square. Oh, wow. And the first game that was on their system oh, no. was Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Yeah. Yep. So without Iwata, things would have been much different. You have to remember that Iwata, like, he didn't like to burn bridges. Like, even when things didn't go his way, he never went and insulted any game developer, ever. Like, he was a sweetheart. He was a kind man. You know, he was the kind of guy who would take a pay cut for his company rather than fire any of his employees. Like, the man literally led by example. Yeah, it's a one, one, one in a million. Even today, with all the stuff going on in the game industry, a lot of those CEOs could take a pay cut, but they'd rather, like, cut, like, half their workforce. Yeah, exactly. Yep, they could just have less swimming pools in their backyard and less trips. Well, it's not just that, but, like, them doing all this, uh, like, DEI stuff has caused a lot of companies to go, I wouldn't say bankrupt, but they have to fire a bunch of people because their games aren't selling. And then when you call them out on that and you say, you know, well, you made this choice and the fans didn't like it, they're like, you know, blah, 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 blah. There's never been a problem doing all this stuff before. It's like, it's only been the past... I would say since 2018 that they've really pushed for, like, quote-unquote, woke stuff in games. And ever since then, profits for video games have been plummeting. So, you know, there is a correlation to pressing stuff that people don't want because games is supposed to be escapism. And, you know, the rest of the world gets that, but America doesn't. So they're basically bleeding their own profits. Eventually, I think the companies that are going to wake up and figure it out will be the Japanese companies long before American companies. We're going to see a lot of American companies go bankrupt because they're just so stubborn. Thank you for the gifted membership, Leo the Conqueror. Appreciate that so much, Leo. Thank you, Leo. Hope you're having a great day. And again, people, I played through the demo, so I'm just running through this. Um, if you're confused at any time, I explained it and struggled with stuff when the demo came out, like, over a month ago. Um, so, you know... I do have a rough understanding of where I'm going with this game uh, right now. Oh, wow. Um, 
Jotaro was saying it's, it was Crystal Chronicles. Yep. That's yeah. 2003. Yeah. So 1996 until 2003, Nintendo and Square were estranged. And the company that filled uh, Square's boots was Capcom. Capcom made a lot of exclusives uh, for Nintendo. And yeah. they worked together, as well as Konami still did things with Nintendo. Um, and some other companies, but no one was really able to take Square's place. In fact, there is really no pinnacle RPG on the N64 that did as well as a Final Fantasy game. They tried with games like Quest 64 and Aiden Chronicles and things like that, but they did not have a hit RPG on the N64. Come on. Mm. There are games... Ms. Tana says there are some games that have been... Selling like hotcakes, but companies still lay off people, even when the company seems to be doing well. Yeah, they seem to do that. I don't know why. They do that, um, like every. I mean, I mean, I don't really know about game companies, but I remember every time I worked at retail, they would lay people off right after Christmas, no matter if they did well or not. That was really frustrating. Um, I'm so sorry. Um, about crossing the uh, then let me go first. Hey. I'm the guide here. All right, here we go. So this is uh, when I believe the bridge breaks. Yeah, and here we go. Wait, the bridge breaks. Bridge breaks. Oh! Yep. Yeah. Tifa, are you okay? Not really. Hmm. Huh. What are you? Sephiroth is trying to get downstream so he can help people. Wow. He's such a good person. He was. He's like so sacrificed. Here comes Cloud. He really was a hero. Yeah. He played Crisis Core. He was a hero for most of the game. No security officer! And now there was only Sephiroth, Cloud, and the good job trooper guy. He's in Fate's hands now. Do you know the way? Yeah. Following the river should get us back to the village. We're not going to the village. Can you get us to the reactor? Sorry, I... I don't think I can. I see. Well... We certainly can't send you back alone. You'll be safer with us. Okay. I'll be joining you up front this time. What? For your performance review. Are you kidding me? Good luck. And now Sephiroth is a playable character. Cool. For your performance <sighs> review? Mm -hmm. So he's gonna keep an eye on... Cloud. Cloud, AK. For your performance review. Well, I don't. I can never tell if we're looking at Cloud or Zack the whole time. So I don't know whose memories we're remembering. Mm, a lot of people aren't supposed to know that. Oh, sorry about that. People, it's okay. I mean, people have already been mentioning it, like in live streams all I'm over the sorry. world. Sorry, I'll not talk about it anymore. No, it's fine. I'm, I'm so sorry. If you if you've played Crisis Core, if you've played the original Final Fantasy VII, then you know this Nibelheim stuff like makes people kind of like, what's going on? I'm so sorry that happened to you, Jotaro. That you're losing your parents. I'm so sorry. 
I understand. I, I I understand what you, when you say you can't play certain games because of things happen. Luke has that too, where he can't watch certain TV shows we used to watch. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I can't watch westerns without thinking about my grandpa. So I don't watch westerns anymore. Mm -hmm. I was never really big into him, but like he was always watching westerns. John Wayne. I can't watch a John Wayne movie ever again. Off you go. Switching to a different character can provide an advantage in battle. We'll play Sephiroth. Get, Get him. him! Go Sephiroth. Stand back. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> come now. Now, there will be... This isn't the only time we'll play a Sephiroth. still. There'll be other times we'll play a Sephiroth. He's really fast. Yep. Just like... You know, the one time we played a Zack, that won't be the last time we play a Zack. So they're trying to get you used to, like, different um, characters and how they work. But just like on the cover of the game, how it shows Zack, Sephiroth, and Cloud, those are the three main characters you'll be playing as in this game. So better learn how to use them. <laughs> better learn now! Alright. Going into the cave. I wonder how Sephiroth sits down on a bench because we have Cloud Ooh. and we saw Yuffie. I want to see how Sephiroth sits on the bench. How do I do this? <laughs> you got to change party members. I think he's going to sip tea and be super proper. Okay, one sec, when one sec. Uh, on combat settings. Is this how I change my lead character? No. Set leader. No, it won't let me do it. Aww. I wanted to see how his saving animation, like how he saves his game. <laughs> yeah, I want to see how he Aww, does it. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, I mean, when the I, characters I'm... were smaller, it probably wouldn't be that much of a difference, but that was cute when we got to see Yuffie just plump herself down on the bench. <laughs> like, she was a little kid almost. Mm, yeah, I don't know how to do it. There's a photo mode, there is... Like, this is why I do stuff off camera, though. Because I can't. Uh... No, honey, we'll look, we'll look at it later. We'll figure it out. You said this won't be the only time to play a Sephiroth. No, it won't be the only so time. So then we'll figure it. out that Sephiroth really was a good person, says Omega. Mm -hmm. He was because he could see that that bridge was gonna fall. He made sure he fell first so he could help everyone else. That was very kind. How did I mess with my material again? Was it this one? There we go. Okay. And we have some new material, which I think. Level, level boost. Yeah! Yuffie is 16 as Amber, so she was, she's practically like a kid to everyone else. Mm-hmm. That makes sense, Deanna. Yeah, no. yeah, she's a lot younger. All right, let's go. So, I don't believe I could use the level boost last time. There was, like, material I tried to put on the demo, and it said no. Tifa must be younger than Cloud, then. Tifa? More Mako gas Tifa's ahead. 16 here, or 14. There's no way around it, either. Cloud is No, Cloud's around the same age as Tifa. He might be one year older. Oh, he just looks older. He said he was 16, but so Tifa's 15. Mako, this thick is being... Or Tifa's 17. Maybe him being a soldier made him act older. See ya! When he was 16 years old, he came to Nibelheim, so... <laughs> Five He's years later, how old would Cloud be? From 16? Mm-hmm. 20 something? Yeah, 21. Okay. From s so. And I think Tifa's a little older than Cloud by like one year, but I don't remember. People in the chat might remember. Oh, yes. older than Cloud. Yeah. I think Tifa is 17, but she might be 15. I don't remember. They didn't really go out of their way to say the ages of the characters like in the original game. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter that no, much. No, it didn't really matter. All we knew is that they were young. We know we're, they're teenagers right now. Yeah. In their 20s in the main game, teenagers here. Young teenagers. But not tweens. Why do we have to go in these weird mind things part of Shinra stuff? Just have to go here. Now, the only thing I'm not good at is uh, the new, like, uh, team-up moves. I really need to get better at that. Yeah. Because I don't really know how to do that very 
I can put my my boiled eggs in the fridge, actually. Mm. A Mako Spring. It's beautiful. <sighs> yeah, but if we keep using Mako to power our homes, springs like this will disappear, right? What are you talking about? Who told you that? My dad. And the mayor, if you must know. Except the planet's huge. Mako will never run out, right? Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. For the Mako energy to condense into something like this, it must have taken an eternity. I've always wondered, how does Materia let you cast spells exactly? <laughs> how did you ever get to be a soldier? Hmm. To put it simply, the knowledge of the ancients is sealed within each orb. That knowledge not only connects us to the planet, it allows us to tap into her power. That's how we can use magic. Or so they say. Really? Magic sure is weird. <laughs> I know someone who'd be livid to hear you call it weird. Or magic, for that matter. I can just imagine what he'd say. It's an affront to science. Who? Hojo. From research and development his predecessor was a great man but him he is anything but <laughs> we should press on so hojo didn't create Sephiroth. nope the person before him did yep so he sees the scientist that created him as his father yeah, kind of. Um, but Hojo, he doesn't like Hojo. He's never liked Hojo. Did Hojo kill his father, or like? They might tell you in Rebirth. I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do in Rebirth. I'm... Like it's already, it's there's gonna be stuff that's familiar to people who played the original Final Fantasy VII you? and Crisis Core, and then just like remake, the game is gonna pivot and do a completely different story. Like there's gonna be parts like who, people who played the original will be like, yeah, I remember that. And then there's going to be things like, wait a second, this happened differently in the original game. Like, they're going to do the same thing they did with, uh, Remake. In fact, um, most of the part of the game that we're going to be in, like, only takes place in, like, one of the discs of the game. Like, it's not even the end game. Like, there's a whole other section after the, either Tomb of the Ancients or the Ancients Lake where Aerith originally got the point of Sephiroth's joke. Wow. What? That's, so, yeah, he was just trying to make a point. To her. Exactly, he was trying to get his point across. <laughs> he just had to spear it through. Yeah. I know that was that was a little a little sharp there. Um. So the I'm game. I'm missing the mark with me here, Luke. I know. So basically, like <laughs> once we get to that part of the game, that's when the game is going to kind of end on a cliffhanger, is what I've heard. So once you get to the the area of the ancients, that's just like you know how uh, the expressway was the end of um, Final Fantasy Remake. Once you finally got there, that's yeah. the same thing of Rebirth. Once you get to the area of the ancients where Aerith does her prayer, yeah, that's where the game is going to either end on a cliffhanger or it's just going to after oh, you wow. finish that section, that's it. Supposedly. It's okay, you were just trying to take a stab at humor. I was taking a stab at stuff, yeah. You know, <laughs> Aerith probably didn't appreciate it. Either. The whole, uh, you were really <laughs> running her through the ringer. <laughs> yeah, I was really trying to stick it to Aerith there. Sorry, Aerith fans. Quickly. Come now. Farewell. Bye. This way. Wow, loops this red hood. <laughs> I don't want to run through anybody's ideas or theories. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. That does. Oh. No, no, we don't hate Aerith. Don't it, hate Aerith. It's just. Her her dying has become a meme for years. Yeah, just trying to get her point across. I can't help it if my wit is a little sharp this morning. Uh. Yeah, maybe.
maybe here. I mean, now that I mean, I hope Aerith will survive. Well, I mean, we already have a dead Aerith in the wherever Zack is. I mean, crazy conspiracy theory people online say that the only way you can go from one alternate Earth to another is if you're if you the version of you has already died in that world. I mean, they showed that Zack and Cloud are alive in uh. Well, the Zack and Cloud from the past are in Midgar after the collapse of uh, Sector 7 and the destruction of a lot of Midgar. Yeah. So yes. Piece of cake. Hmm. Yeah, she died from the helicopter crash. That's right, Misty, I know. No, she died. She was dying or from the collapse. Or she was dying. They were all but, in bad shape after the... Uh, or, the collapse of either either their deaths happen like during the destruction of the Sector 7 plate or their deaths happen um, a version of them fighting Sephiroth like after the conclusion of the fight with Sephiroth a tornado got them I don't know after this I'm gonna have some oh I forgot to get more oval to you did I go here before did I just go backwards I think I went backwards no, I hope that Aerith lives. I I like Aerith in this. I don't want Tifa or Aerith to die, but if it if Aerith has to die for Tifa to live, then I want Tifa to live. Especially because Cloud and Tifa actually have like a, a more interesting relationship this time around than I wouldn't mind. I know people are gonna hate this, but I did not like I, I liked playing as Tifa in the original Final Fantasy VII, but I didn't like her whole jealousy towards Aerith and Cloud, like the whole game. It was annoying. It was like, Tifa was being like a typical anime stereotype. I love her personality more in Remake. Um, I understood she was jealous, but it was like, it was to the point of annoyance in the original Final Fantasy VII. Not again. Um, Synergy. I, I like how Tifa's her own girl, and she doesn't like let, she doesn't like um, pine over Cloud so much. You can tell she likes him. But she's not, like, in his face about it. She's just kind of teasing him a little bit. Yeah. I didn't get to see if Barrett and, um... No, Barrett and, uh... Oh my gosh, what are the other party members? Darn it. Besides Aerith and, uh... Well, yeah, Barrett and Tifa on... Yeah, in this reality, did they die or not? Barrett and Tifa. Barrett, Tifa... And Cloud is missing. And, uh, Aerith and Red, 13, are all dead. And, uh, wherever Zack is, they're all dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come now. Hi, Savon. Good to see you. Hope you're having a great day. Come on, Uh-oh. It's time to So the thing that I need to learn is these tag team moves. Is it a stagger? Because I'm not very good at the whole tag team. I'm supposed to build up a meter where you can do like some type of super move or something like that. Alright. Yeah. I'm doing synergy, but I have no idea if it's even building up a gauge for me to do synergy, so that's the thing. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't really know how to do it's it. It's all you. You're in good hands. Yeah, I mean, like, her acting, like, if she's always, like, being annoyed and being, like, super jealous. No, in the original. Yeah, in the, in the original. Like, even if Cloud liked her at first, he might become so annoyed with her, he might end up with Aerith because she's being so annoying. <laughs> Gotta be careful. But I always had... Tifa, Cloud, and Vincent in my party back then. Well, that's cool. That was my main team. Sometimes I kept Barrett when I needed to do long range stuff, Ooh. but once I got to the vampire, it was like. We don't even have Vincent. Vincent's not playable. Get He's like Red 13 in Final Fantasy VII Remake. Like once you get to that part of the story. Oh, yeah. oh so we'll meet him, but he might not be playable. Yeah, he's gonna follow you around like Red does. Red did. And then my guess is in the final version of, or the, the final chapter of Final Fantasy VII, um, he'll be playable. So the original Final Fantasy VII loop, they had a lot of 
like party choices like you could basically make your party whoever you wanted out of all the options or you got to choose like three or four people or something uh three or you oh, wow. three people how many game sounds we have not very many. i won't let you down <laughs> Well, Says he won't let him down. Let what? Sephiroth down. <laughs> Is this part of your performance review? Because Cloud's not doing the best of his performance. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking that. Well, as much as I would like to resurrect Cloud, let's see his uh, limit. I hope we get to a place in the game where we can find him. Behold. Oh, There's a lot of monsters around the town. You can go out and... Fight them if you want. Then you'll be like grinding spot. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I won't get to grind until like midnight tonight, though. And I'll be very busy. Like I'll, I'll be playing this game until very early in the morning. I want to grind. I want to. I want to play a Sephiroth. He's so cool. I probably can't grind a Sephiroth though. I want to play a Sephiroth and Barret because. Barret's huge. You can't have Barret and Sephiroth on a team. Why not? That's They're my enemies. party. No. Sephiroth and Barret, most OP team ever. <sighs> Actually, we're gonna use Sephiroth stuff. Hi Alpha. Hi everyone. Oh no. Oh, says, um, YouTube redirected him to another stream. Oh, I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. Ugh. They tend to do that. Da, 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 it's super annoying when they da, do that. Da, 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 da. So that's Tifa's theme. That da, 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 da. Yeah, that's Tifa's theme. Da, oh. da, 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 da. They're playing that a lot in this game. Because, I mean, Tifa has a big role in this game. Because it's going to so be about glad. Tifa's past. Because Aerith wasn't around that much in the original Final Fantasy well, VII. Well, they can keep censoring Tifa's outfits, but they can't keep taking her out of the game because she's in the game a lot, so they're just going to have to deal with that. I'm doing my best to avoid spoilers because I think my heart will break if I find out Tifa dies in this game, other than the Tifa that we saw die in the helicopter. I won't even want to continue the game. I'm going to be like, well, I'm done with the series. Now we're talking. <laughs> no, I would still play the game, but I would die. I, I really hope Barrett this comes back to life. Barrett's fine. What? I'm so confused. I thought he died. No, the whisper saved him. What? Yeah, you weren't there for it. But oh, that's what I wasn't there for. Yeah, Barrett. Barrett's fine. Oh, see, this whole time I knew I missed something when I checked the stove. Darn it. Oh, you meant, like, no, everyone's dead and wherever Zack is. Oh. No, oh, no, no. those aren't the people from our universe? No. <sighs> no, 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 no. I am so confused. Magnify. Expand range, linked materia, proficiency, 60%. Oh. Linked materia. Level boost. Uh, I don't know, because, I mean... See, Aerith has a very low shirt. Like, her shirt is very low. It goes, like, all the way down her neck. Tifa has, like, tons of... I mean, Tifa has a shorter skirt, but Aerith's shirt is lower. Like, I don't know. I mean... HP increases your max HP. This opponent cannot exceed. All right, we want to do level... There. Okay. There we go. Do I not have a... Cloud's equipment cannot be changed at the present. Ah! That's no good. Alright. But, I um... don't... Bird boss. Oh, I'm Aerith doesn't have anything to censor. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go. More materia. 
so last time I couldn't really experiment with a lot of materia in the demo, so this time I can. Obtained autocast. Ooh. Ooh, can I steal Sephiroth's materia? No, I probably can't. Wishful thinking. Steal Sephiroth's materia. Wow. Uh, obtained Phoenix down, all this other stuff. Now the question is, will all this stuff carry over to the main game after I complete Nibelheim? Or no. That's where what I want to know. Climb, cloud, climb. Oh, there's more material over there. How'd I miss that? Aha! That wouldn't have been possible in the remake. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Thinking outside the box. What does that say? Comet materia? Ooh. Alright, so we need to do some vacuuming again. So whenever you see spots like this, you have to do vacuuming. Oh, I forgot about that. And then you vacuum up the materia stuff? Well, yeah, uh, Mako... Or Mako energy. Whatever it is. Mako poison, Mako energy. That was weird in the first scene where Cloud and Sephiroth were in that truck. And Cloud turned around and they were talking to each other. You could both see they same, had the same eyes. Like, the Mako eyes. Honestly, I'm like, even though it was kind of poisoning them, I mean, I'd kind of want cool eyes like that. Like, their eyes are glowing. I mean, that would be kind of neat, but... Okay, so now you're supposed to take the, this vacuum thing and you go over to the other door. Excuse me, Tifa. Out of the way. Mm -hmm. Out of the way, Tifa. Expensive vacuum cleaners and bony coming through. Marco gas levels reduced by 70%. And you don't have to go crazy. No Marco gas detected. Elevator access granted. Alright, let's go up the elevator. I don't know. Hmm? I ordered the... Well, I ordered the... Groceries? Groceries, and I got the same salad kits I got before with those lentils, and so I could just put tuna on it. Mm. So I should be able to make myself a quick salad and then do the... Do the... <laughs> do the thing. Okay. I have to download a lot of different types of types. It's Response. harder... It's harder to use... Yeah. It's harder to use this Photoshop than the last one. It's very frustrating. I still have the Final Fantasy font. That's what I'm going to use. Yeah, I guess I'll use that. Um, I want to see Sephiroth sit on the bench. Oh, yeah. We didn't get to see him sit on the bench. Cloud just looks like... Cloud's mm, like stuff. Whatever. Yeah, I want to see... I want to see Sephiroth sit on the bench. Why do I want to see that? I don't know. You just want to see what his personality is like. I want to see everyone sit on the bench. Somebody has got to do that. Oh, you got you got your you got stuck in Sephiroth's hair. Yep. When you were climbing up the ladder. Stuck inside Sephiroth's hair for a little bit. His hair got in your face. Whoopsies. <laughs> up ahead, looks like a way out. Monster fight. First boss. Wait. What? Get back. Here we go. This way. You said you wanted to be a hero. Wish I had. It thinks we're after materia. Someone should tell it we're not. <laughs> Be my guest. You gotta keep your guard up. All right. Wow, this is so different than Claw's personnel. I got your back. Spunky and super confident. <laughs> yeah. This is very different than Claw's. If that was really Cloud, he would have been like, "I thought you said you wanted to be a hero," and he'd be like, eh. "But instead, he was like, wish I had it.' Let's go!' And it's like, who is this guy?" Not 
doing? Who are you? What have you done with our cloud? <laughs> Rookies. <laughs> what have you done with depressed emo cloud? Come on, give them back to us. It's not the cloud that I remember. This is not the correct cloud. That's not his personality. I've got this. Now I need I need there to be like an alternate DLC of this game where I can play as Barrett and Sephiroth on a TV. And I want to fight monsters. I owe you one. That would be cool. When we're done. Of course. Oh, the game is of course. All right. Defense cloud. I got your back. All right. Damn it! Not again! Get it! Huh? There we go. On me. This, the tag team thing, I'm not very good at. I need to learn how to do the tag team moves. Done. Because that whole synergy thing is new. Sephiroth. All right, so when the enemy is out of your way, pretty mobile. You have to use spells to make them come down. down. Good thing I don't just fight with a sword. I won't let you down. You don't just fight with a sword. Get him. No. Stand back. That wasn't enough to knock me down, though. Ow. Go for the legs. Take out its legs. Now. I don't have any magic. Stand back. Am I supposed to take out the legs when I have the magic? <laughs> now, do they actually refill your magic gauge? No. You have to hit things with the to be up. So, how do I get him down then? Show him what we can do. Well, that's one way of doing that. I'm staggering. Watch and learn. I got your back. Four minutes All right. Here, I got your back. Forgot you're starting out. Um, All right. Um, Oh wait, no, sir, the other. I'm trying to build up some synergy gauge, but I'm not seeing it anywhere. Let go! Get me out of here! Shouldn't be too hard. You're not gonna see something now. Doesn't look still. like I'm gonna get to use the synergy. Who are you? Well, if I could pick teams, it would be kind of cool to have Eric and Zach on a team. I got this! Get him! Oops. Come on, Cloud. You're practically panting. I'm excited. <laughs> Such a puppy. Here we go. So, Zack and Sephiroth were friends then. Okay, turn the tables on the beast of the mountain with the coordinated attack from Cloud and Sephiroth. Use their double helix synergy ability when the command menu brings material garden crashing down to the cave floor. I did not do this during the demo. Don't like the looks of this. Stay alert. No, he killed him. What? Take the lead. It's on now. I thought it was Shenra that killed him. Whoa. That was insane. That's complicated. Technically, yeah, Shinra killed Zack, but um, Sephiroth wounded Zack pretty badly. And Cloud was the one who. Why would he do that if they were having a good time hanging out before? Actually, Zack was the one that. Cloud defeated Sephiroth. Zack might want to steer clear of the gas. Some people forget that. 
Yeah, but Zach rescued Claw. No synergy abilities right now. Sephiroth! Well, at least we got to do the cool synergy thing. Also, Zach put down a lot of Shinra soldiers. No, I'm talking about something else. Talking about the Nibelheim reactor. As a team. Trying to suffer off. We don't have any gauge left, buddy. Mixed potion. This hurt more. The loudest. Sephiroth. You're in good hands. All right. Trying to. He's on limit. Trying to figure out how to do the tank. I got this. Sephiroth. Stand Take the lead. I got your back. I won't let you down. Get him. Get him. Tag team mechanic is new, so I'm still... I'm used to fighting solo. No limit break yet. Steal Sephiroth. It's all you. You're in good hands. Oh, Sephiroth's limit. I don't think he can reach from here, though. Oh, well. Enough of this. Follow my lead. Yeah, wow. that was a waste. Couldn't reach yeah, him. My help. Couldn't reach we him. need to work Couldn't together. reach him. Whoops. Wow. Whoopsies. You guys can't do it again, though. Show them what we can do. Yeah, I kind of messed it up. Oh well. I did limit in the demo. Okay, well, I'm just kidding. He's only been looking for a couple of years. Get him! A 16-year-old soldier. It's surprising that he's hanging out alongside Sephiroth. Yeah, see, I don't know how to build up the synergy meter. Like, I've been using synergy meters, Show but what I don't we know can how to do. build up. Watch the gas! I can try to look it up. Hopefully, I can hit him this time. This is here. There we go. We got him. Yeah, baby. Got ya. I think. Wow. Take it from here. That's ah. a screening, uh, he this is. guy. Such a puppy. Nice work. <laughs> okay, hold up. Maybe I'm missing something here. But everything you've said makes Sephiroth sound like a stand-up guy. Well, he was. And now he's pure evil. Trying to kill everyone on the planet. Help me to understand this shit. Tell me something that'll really make my blood boil. Oh, I will. I will. Nibelheim reactor. You wait out here, Tifa. No way! I want to go too! Please? Sorry, no civilians. Even if we weren't on a mission. Come on! Keep the young lady safe. Good job, trooper. Carry on. Ugh. You better keep me safe. I have a question. Mm -hmm. If that was Cloud and that was keeping her safe, did she know that was Cloud? Um, I think she recognizes the guy under the helmet. But he didn't tell her. Like, no, he doesn't really visit with her. He's too embarrassed because he he's he he's won. not a soldier. Oh. He didn't. He feels like he didn't live up to his promise with her. 
you know, sometimes when you promise a girl you love and then you, you know, you come back to town and you didn't fulfill your obligation, sometimes you just kind of avoid her because you're, you know, you let her down. I expect it to be all mm -hmm. systems go. You made a promise you were going to come back and be this big shot at work. Like most That's to do with a man's models. pride. And let me guess, pillagers don't have a clue about this. No way, shouldn't they? Of course not. The company really needs to be more transparent. Tell that to the president. What exactly is the problem with this place? The people in charge. While most reactors are under the jurisdiction of urban planning, this one is overseen by R&D. Huh. Why do I suddenly have a What's bad feeling about this? Whatever Research and development. Here, you are not to speak no. of it. Oh, Who's I won't. Pojo. Why is he looking into this reactor? Sephiroth is looking into this reactor because he doesn't like Hojo. So... He's not here on official business. Wait, so he brought everybody here? Sephiroth himself did? Mm-hmm. Sephiroth is here for a reason. Oh, so Sephiroth is the one... So he didn't... Sephiroth didn't get told to be... to come here? I don't remember how he convinced Shinra to let him come here, but yeah, he has his own reasonings for being here. Oh my gosh. So Hojo was... Hojo's that evil doctor what we saw did, in Remake. And what did... What was he doing down here? I don't understand. Bad stuff. Thank you for the highlighted message. Our serial member for 34 months. Hi, Kiwing. Super excited to play this game tomorrow. Thank you, our serial. Perhaps you'd like to say a few words to your sword first? something. Disgusting. What are those things? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh it's his... Genova? His mom was here. Wasn't that... That's why he burnt their village down. His mom was here. He didn't ever see her before. This was the first time he saw her. And then Hojo turned that, that on? No. The malfunction must be forcing the pods to depressurize. What malfunction? Cloud, go out and shut off the valve. Copy. This is you just have to go outside the door. What are you doing? Healing just in case. Oh, in case he kills you? No, that's not yet. So this was the first time he met his mom, Genova, and she was being used as an experiment and pieces of her were being taken to clone things that were disgusting. Genova's not alive. It's her corpse. I know, but it's still gross. Mm -hmm. It's terrible <laughs> that his mom would be used like that. Yep. It's sickening. Being used as a science experiment. After she died. Okay. To clone monsters. Okay. I'm on Sephiroth's side. I don't like what's happening. What are you doing? These pods were built for the production of artificial materia. 
But Hojo, repurpose them as incubators, cages for animals, infused with Mako. All to birth a new breed of monster. But he didn't stop at animals. Oh no. There were other subjects. Oh my gosh. Look. Sephiroth. Ever since I was a child, I knew. I knew that I was different. That I was special. He was born but not him. like this. Not like this. Oh. <laughs> Sword can come. Am I even? Human? You are human, I think. I don't know. Eventually, we went back to the inn. But when we got there, Sephiroth locked himself in his room. The mayor had been looking forward to having dinner with bona fide soldiers, so he didn't take the news too well. Dad had to put up with his belly aching for hours afterward. Huh? Hmm? Must have sucked. But what about Sephiroth? What happened to him? He left. Didn't tell a soul where he was going. to find Severoff. Well, I guess we did. Don't I met Sephiroth as he was heading for Shinra Manor, and he acted like I wasn't even there. Busy, I suppose. Haven't heard anything about the reactor either. What happened up there anyway? See, they didn't even know there was like a secret lab inside of the reactor. The town's been used as a guinea pig. Hmm, Severoth. Ah, I did see him leave a little while ago. Oh my gosh. They you, they made sure they built it. Oh my gosh, it's like never mind. He pulled up inside the mansion. Something's been off ever since he came they back from the reactor. They took a quaint little Too town and built a secret Marco? facility that was disgusting under it. And the people in the town had no idea what was happening. They should have sensed something evil was happening under their town. This is Tifa's house. How would they know? They didn't even have any idea. No monsters came, like, crawling down from the lab once in a while or something. Like, they should have known something was happening. And wouldn't Hojo be going to check on the lab all the time? They would have noticed him going there. Nothing ever got noticed. I don't understand how no one could have noticed this was happening. Mm hmm Yeah, this is Cloud's house. And then across the street, um, over there, that's Tifa's. You can tell it's Tifa's house by the window. I That's don't think rope. so. Sephiroth didn't expect to. It's like he didn't expect. To. It's like when when he actually saw the human experiments, he had never seen them before, and he had never seen Genova. That was what really bothered him, when he saw the word Genova. Because if he just knew there was serial human experience experiments, it'd be one thing, but the fact that he knew his mom's name was Genova, and it said Genova on the door, that's what made him upset. Partially made him snap, yep. 
because he realized, oh my gosh, and then he saw those people in the lab, and he was like, wait, they're created from Genova. I was created from Genova. Oh my gosh. Mind blown. Oh. No correlation. Man. They shouldn't have written the name Genova on the door. They should have just said it was a misprint. If you're looking for Sephiroth, oh I saw him headed toward the mansion. Sephiroth was a blood and I don't understand how they thought they could hide this from Jinnu Sephiroth. Jinnu was the biggest building in town. Super smart. And older than the reactor. The company used to conduct research there, back when they were still a small manufacturer. Even so, the rent on that plot was basically what kept the village afloat. Well, here we are. What now? I mean, the whole place is pitch black. You think he's sleeping or something? But if he's sick, he needs our help. Him? A little Mako poisoning isn't gonna hurt a living legend. Living legend to help uh, defeat Wu Tai. Mm. Which is, Wu Tai, as you know, is Yuffie's people. So they lied and they said Wu Tai was the enemy, but in reality, they are the evil ones. Shinra was pretty bad, yeah. Search for Sephiroth. I doubt Wu Tai conducts experiments like that. A little bit of redecorating here in the manor. You could tell Sephiroth was kind of mad. This reminds me of Beauty and the Beast, his castle. Oh no, Sephiroth did this. That's a clean. S look at that. You can tell that was sliced with a sword, very big sword. Look at the um, the direction of like the diagonal cut. They should have a a count. Took a look around the place, but Sephiroth was nowhere to be seen. If he works for the government, they should have a government counselor help him out. Like, have like, him give him a government counselor. Like, so of course, then, if you guys want to explore this area more, um, you need to play Crisis Core. I was like, and then I found they were doing human experiments, and how does that make you feel? Angry. <laughs> my gosh. Mm -hmm. This is too much for him to take. Anyone would have become an evil person. Sephiroth needs a hug. Um, I have whatever the default graphics are set up as. I, I don't know. Never knew it had a basement. It was news to me too. Doubt anyone in the village had a clue. Whatever the default setting is on the, um... On Final Fantasy 7, that's what I'm currently using. The door is locked. This is where Vincent is, by the way. Vincent is in Nimbleheim. Here's the laboratory where Cloud and Zack are in, at the uh, near the climax of uh, Crisis Core. Excavated from a 2,000 year old rock layer, a life form in stasis. Professor Gast named this life form Genova. MEGL 771977. -77. Genova. Verified as an ancient. Uh, MEGL 913977. -77. Genova project approved. So, they named the life form Genova. And once they understood what she was, they grew ambitious. Hey, Sephiroth. What you got there? Leave me be. At least Cloud respected his wishes. But this is where Sephiroth goes crazy. And that was it. He stayed holed up in the basement. Reading, reading, like a man possessed. He needed to know. He needed to know what happened. Was wrong. We got Genova. 
a locked reactor door, the name of Sephiroth's mother, and an ancient. Ah, screw it. Racking my brain's not gonna get me anywhere. May as well just ask the guy. If only Zack had figured it out. There's nothing he could have done. Zack was outclassed by Sephiroth. There's nothing he could have done. Sephiroth was S tier. But Zack was a good friend of Sephiroth, though. He was his, um. <laughs> Zack looked up to Sephiroth, he was his mentor. Ah, oh, Cloud. I've come across the most fascinating passage. The specimen found in strata dating back 2,000 years smiled with what could only be described as ethereal grace. Though the truth eluded me at first, I later determined that she was an ancient, or a steward of the planet, as they are referred to in legend. She needed a name, and so I dubbed her Genova. The Genova project was approved soon after. A bold initiative to resurrect the long dead ancients. An initiative that resulted in my conception. Or rather, my creation. The crowning glory of Professor Gas' wondrous experiment! He created you? waiting. Keep asking myself, why couldn't I have come to sooner? Yes. If I had, maybe I could have saved the village. Or tried, at least. So Zach was here too when all this happened. <laughs> what? I just thought of something when Cloud said this is my hometown and he said he said oh how does it feel I don't know hey, you. I don't have a get in there Come the on. villagers need your help Mother and father. there's Tifa's master oh wow I don't remember if he was there like uh in the demo or not Watch out. in reality this is Sephiroth's hometown too oh yeah I was just thinking but he didn't live above ground. Mm -hmm. And this is how Cloud gets hurt. If he just would have avoided that. I'm sorry, he's gone. <laughs> and now it becomes a horror game. Check on mom. Is it true? Sephiroth did this? Oh, it was him, all right. And he's still here. So keep your eyes peeled. God, get your head straight. I need you to secure the way out. Now, yes, sir. 
but he... Yep, Sephiroth flicked he... his wrist and he went flying. Yeah, I think anger can probably, if you had superpowers, if you got angry, like, it, it would probably magnify whatever superpowers you had. Maybe he became more powerful the angrier he got. That's your house. <laughs> Hold on, Mom. Did his mom live? I'm coming. Cloud's mom didn't live. Mm, yeah, you can hear Seth Ross music playing in the background. Maybe he burnt the hood down so no one could ever do experiments here. I don't... I don't think they explain why he burns the village down. He's kind of crazy. I think he wanted to kill everyone in the world. Probably. So probably started with whatever people were right here. I mean, they didn't build the secret lab. That was Shinra. They just lived here. Yeah, but they were a cover for it. They didn't know. I know, but they didn't. They didn't know. So if you guys are just joining, we're doing a mini marathon of this game today. We're doing at least three streams of this. The next stream will be at four o'clock. We're just wrapping up chapter one now. Oh, now you can't go to Tifa's house. He couldn't save his own mom. Claude must have hated himself. He couldn't save his mom. Please. Please be okay. Save your mom, Cloud. Sephiroth. Mom. I wish Cloud could save his mom. Did you just see how it said security officer? Mom. Yeah. Cloud can't stop him. Murderous. You so sad because monster. Oh there he is. Sephiroth. Um, stop. To you sick son of a bitch. Let's burn up. Drop the sword. Clouds weak from the explosion. He has such an advantage with that sword. I would just shoot him. Like they have all this time to shoot him, they're not even moving. I know, right? That's Tifa's dad? No. The mayor's not Tifa's dad. Oh, we saw Tifa's dad, but he didn't make it. Oh my gosh! We 
wait for me. I'm coming. Where the demo ended. Wow. I followed Sephiroth all the way back to the reactor. Dad and I had gone there to hide. When Sephiroth showed up, Dad decided that he was going to confront him. It was Sephiroth, wasn't it? He did this, didn't he? <laughs> Sephiroth. Soldiers. Mako. Shinra. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all of this! <laughs> Get in here. Tifa went in here? Tifa tried to kill Sephiroth, yes. Oh my gosh. Yep. Tifa, what are you doing? He killed everyone in the Mother, I have come for you. Open the way for me. You murdered my dad. You burned my village. <gasps> oh, my gosh! Oh, my gosh! Oh, my gosh! <laughs> do anything he's just a regular soldier though he can't do anything actually when cloud confronts Sephiroth it's one of the coolest things ever it, it's like the real cloud fighting Sephiroth is an amazing sequence even back in the day it was like here I am such a cool moment your son I can't do anything mother together we will reclaim our world and I know exactly how we can do that the promised land. Sephiroth! <laughs> oh no. Paul's gonna die. Mother. They have come again. The ones who robbed you of the planet. Your planet. But there's no need to be sad, Mother. Because I'm here for you. 
now and forever. Oh my gosh, she looks like a real person. You killed my mom. You killed Tifa. My village. My home. <laughs> they were mine by right. This planet too, for I have been chosen. I believed in you. No. Not you! Whoever the hell you are! That's the last thing I remember. The rest is a blank. The hell it is? What happened? It was all over the news. I remember watching it with my mom. They said he went missing during a training exercise. But then, the story changed. A couple days later, they started reporting that he was killed in action. Yeah, that was it. The news outlets are nothing but Shinra mouthpieces spewing propaganda. Only dumbasses believe that shit. Question. Does that make me a dumbass? Uh, I didn't say that. What I meant was... Screw Shinra for manipulating honest folks. Aw, Barrett's sweet. It doesn't matter what they said back then. Sephiroth was in Midgar. We fought him. Whatever happened, he's alive. Dunno about alive so much as... Around? But why come back now? After five years, doing who knows what? Because... He wants to finish what he started. He wants to reclaim his birthright. And rule over the planet with Jenova at his side. After five years? Not to sound like a broken record, but... It's really bothering me. Well, what's bothering me is all this Genova stuff. <sighs> Excuse me. Guess the travel or something really did a number on my back. Feels as stiff as a board. Let me take a look. Mm. Ah! Wow. You weren't kidding, were you? Let's get you back to the room. Yeah, let's just call it a night. No amount of guesswork will get us any closer to the truth. So how about we give our heads a rest? Uh, oh no, you don't. That bed's mine. Sweet oh, the lion. See it tomorrow. The lion took it. Ah, uh, there's bed. Barrett's bed. Darn it. Where's Barrett gonna sleep? You should push him off the bed. Hey, Aerith, you awake? Barely. Why? Was wondering, what's Cloud been doing these past five years? Where's he been? And you're asking me this? Just had a feeling you'd know. Probably did at one point. All that stuff was taken from me, though. Or maybe erased? 
By whispers? Yeah. Why do they have weird black blankets on them? Maybe that's why. Censorship. Why what? Why? <laughs> they need to be some. This is gonna sound crazy, but as far as I know, Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years ago. See, Tifa knows. It was Zack. Cloud, you up? But he remembered everything. Kind of take a sword to go talk to Tifa, dude. What do you think she's gonna do? He uh. doesn't trust anyone, Luke. All right. Oh, were they? Late? Was somebody knocking on our door? No. Oh yeah, there was somebody that knocked on our door. All right. So um, I think that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. Uh, we have to give you something to look forward to at four o'clock. That was actually kind of crazy. Um, so we'll have to find out what Tifa has in store for Cloud. What are they going to talk about? Is she going to cause them to have memory issues again? Because she knows something is up. That's a completely different nibble story. Okay. And that's it. That's all, people. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Next episode will be at 4 o'clock, and we will see you with more Final Fantasy Rebirth with our early access later. <laughs>